What's going on guys, Mixkillet here with another CSGO video and today I'm going to be doing a full loadout video for the best loadout that I could put together for $5, so the $5 budget loadout. This is the cheapest loadout video I've ever done and um, you can actually get every single skin in this video for less than $5, which, which is the cheapest amount of money you can first select to add to your Steam account, so I thought I would do a $5 loadout. So let's get right into the video. So starting off we have the CZ Tigress and the field tested one is only 28 cents so a pretty good CZ skin for the price and you don't even need this skin if you're only using the 5.7 and the Tech 9 so this is kind of an optional one to have in the first place but next up we have the Dutch Eagle Corinthian and I honestly think this is one of the best looking deagles in the game I think this is better looking than the Golden Koi I think it actually is a little bit nicer of a color and is field tested only 21 cents, so a very nice deagle skin for a cheap price. Now for the duelies, I definitely go with the dueling dragons. It doesn't matter what condition you get for the skin, because they all pretty much look the same, but I believe field tested is the cheapest. Now for the 5.7, I'd go with the Minimal Wear Forest Knight 5.7. A lot of the other 5.7s that would fit in this loadout, they look really beat up in the conditions available for the price range, so I think this is a good one because it doesn't look too beat up. And next up we have the Glock Bunsenburner, and I actually suggest getting the skin Battle Scarred because the Battle Scarred one is not really scratched up at all. It just has a slightly different color than the other ones. It's a little bit more green. And I believe Battle Scarred is about the cheapest tied with Field Tested. So you can get whatever one you want, Field Tested or Battle Scarred. But for the Tech 9, I'll go with the Tech 9 Sandstorm Minimal Wear. Only 26 cents and it looks very nice for the price. Um, it doesn't look beat up. A lot of the other ones for this price look pretty beat up. But next up we have the P250 Valance Field Tested, only 10 cents. And um, yeah, just a cheap skin in general, nice looking P250. And for the R-Rate, um, you don't really need an R-Rate skin. I mean, I don't, I don't think too many people use the R-Rate, but if you want to have an R-Rate skin, I mean, you can use the R-Rate Revolver Crimson Mode. Field tested only 10 cents and not too bad for the price. And next up, we have the USP skin. And I definitely go with the Torque, probably the best one for this price. It's a little bit beat up and field tested, but if you want, you can cut some of the other skins for this video and get a factory new one. And for this video, I designed it so you would actually pick whether you want a skin for the USPS or the P2000. To save money, you'd only have one skin instead of one skin for each. So you can either pick the USPS or the P2000 that I recommend for this price if you're trying to get under $5. The Imperial one is a pretty nice one for the price for the P2000. Or you could pick the USPS Torque if you like the USPS more. And for the AK, I'm going to go with the Elite Build Field Tested, of course. Definitely the best one for the price, only 28 cents and a pretty nice AK skin. Next up we have the AUG Ricochet, and I don't really use the AUG, I don't think too many people use the AUG unless you're kind of a lower level player to be honest, but field tested one, only 12 cents, not a bad looking skin. And next up we have the OP skin, and I'd go with a Pit Viper field tested, the only problem is um, I'd actually recommend inspecting them before you buy it because the float makes a big difference. I didn't really inspect it when I bought this one and um, it's kind of beat up so try to see if you can find one for lower float that has less scratches on it because then you can get one that's almost flawless that looks a good amount better than this one but still i think this is the best off for the price you could also go after the worm god but i don't know i sometimes I just get a little sick of the worm god i think i kind of prefer this one now for the famas i would go with the survivor z field tested which is kind of a more beat up rough looking skin but it's really the best famas for the price i would say kind of a cool look and next up we have the g3 sg1 green apple for uh, only seven cents, the factory new one looks super clean and super cheap for an FN skin. And for the Gleal, I went with the Rocket Pop Field Tested. Only ten cents, not a bad skin for the Gleal. Now you're also going to have to choose between an M4A1S skin or an M4A4 skin. If you want an M4A1S skin, the only one you can really get at this price that doesn't look completely beat up or terrible is the Minimal Wear Boreal Forest, which I know is not the best skin, but it's really the best one you can get to fit this price range. Now if you want to go for the M4A4, I re recommend the Urban DD Pat Minimal Wear. Not a bad looking skin, honestly, and it looks pretty much flawless as long as you're not inspecting it. There's not many scratches besides the very back of it. And also, if you want to cut out some of the other skins from this video, you could also try getting an M4A4 Griffin Field Tested for only around 70 cents if you want to cut out some of the other skins in this video and just upgrade your M4A4. And for the Scar 20, gotta go with the Grotto, of course. Field Tested, only 9 cents. The condition makes pretty much no difference on this skin, so you don't have to worry about that. Just get whatever condition is the cheapest for the moment. And next up, we have the SG553, which I want with the Waves perforated which 
is not really the best skin to be honest, but I didn't want to put too much money into the SG skin because it's not a gun too many people use. And the other ones that look somewhat decent start to be at like $1 plus, so I went with a pretty cheap one for the SG at only 4 cents. Now for the SSG or the Scout, I'm definitely going to go with the Abyss, and the Field Test one's only 11 cents. The condition makes not too much of a difference on the skin, it actually kind of changes the color, but Field Test is very cool looking for only 11 cents. Now for the MAC-10, I would go with the Rangine one, Field Tested only 9 cents. Another pretty cool looking skin, you don't really see the scratches when you're holding it for the Field Tested one, so pretty good MAC-10 skin for the price. And for the MP7, I would definitely go with the Urban Hazard, Field Tested only 9 cents, and pretty much the best one that fits this budget. Next up we got the MP9, Deadly Poison of course, a very common skin, so super cheap. Field Tested only 11 cents, and for the Bison, I went with the Brass, which Field Tested is only 9 cents. I mean, this gun is not really a gun you want to be using in competitive play unless you're just trying to have a bit of fun, but otherwise you can buy this for an only 9 cents field tested. And next up we got the P90, which I went with the module, field tested only 34 cents, and a pretty bright and shiny looking skin for this price. Now for the UMP, I would definitely go with the Gunsmoke Minimal Wear. I don't think too many people actually know about this skin, it's kind of underrated. But I think the skin's actually really cool, and it's also super cheap for some reason. So I would definitely recommend getting this for the UMP, only 6 cents. And it's a lot more original and a little better looking than a lot of the other ones that people usually use. Now onto the shotgun, starting off I would definitely recommend the Mag 7 Heaven Guard which is actually not too expensive, even for factory new you can get it for only 11 cents so it fits in the budget. And for the Nova you can get the Candy Apple for only 10 cents, also factory new, very nice looking skin. And um, yeah, you can get a lot of the shotguns factory new for cheap, such as the Sawed Off as well, the Origami one, another pretty nice skin which you can get for only 11 cents. Not a gun that I've pretty much ever used, but still if you want to get a complete loadout for cheap, I'd recommend this one. Now for the XM, there's very little options that fit the budget. Most of them are very boring looking skins, but uh, you can get the blue spruce for only four cents. Still kind of beat up looking, not my favorite skin, but it fits the budget. And now for the M249 skin, I recommend cutting this skin. You don't really need a skin for the M249, because you really shouldn't ever be using the M249 to be fully honest. But now for the Negev, a much better gun for trolling around than the M249. You can get a Negev tearing minimal wear for only nine cents, not too bad of a skin. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. These loadout videos take a very long time to make. So um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and I'm Mick Skillet, and I'm out.